Now this is the Fujifilm FinePix HS10. It's a 10 megapixel bridge camera, although it might look a little bit like a DSLR. Now, of course, it doesn't have a sensor the size of the sensors that you'd find on a digital SLR, and it has a fixed lens. But Fujifilm says that this lens is gonna be so good that you won't want to change it. Now, it is a pretty good lens. It offers a very versatile zoom factor of 30 times. Now, it's got a 24 to 720 millimeter lens. Now, as you can see, the zoom control is on the barrel of the lens itself. Now, this is quite interesting. It gives you a bit of creativity when shooting. For example, you can take a zoom burst photograph, which gives quite a nice effect. And the fact that the uh, zoom controls aren't mechanically controlled, well, that should give you a longer battery life. Now, another feature of this camera's lens is that it has a manual focus ring here, so it gives you that more tactile digital SLR feel when shooting. On the side of manual controls, you've also got full aperture and full shutter speed control on this camera, as well as aperture and shutter speed priority modes. Now the controls of this camera along the top are tilted slightly towards the user. That makes them that little bit easier to read. Uh, it's got a three inch LCD, and that can be pulled out from the body of the camera and twisted through a horizontal axis, making it easier to shoot above your head or down low at ground level. As well as the LCD, you've got an le electronic viewfinder. Now, if you bring that up to your eye, it's got a little sensor to the right, which switches off the LCD. Now that'll save power, save battery life, but also it will mean that you don't have the brightness of the screen glaring back at you when you're taking the photograph. Now, along the side of the LCD, you've got some other controls here, such as ISO control or white balance. Now to access these, you hold down the button, it brings up an on-screen menu and you can toggle through them. And when you're happy with the setting, you just release the button on the left. That means you don't have to go into any menu systems to change these features and it's that, it's that much quicker. Now the camera has a pop-up flash here, but it also has a hot shoe mount so you'll be able to attach an external flash if you like. Now the camera can shoot in JPEG or in the more versatile RAW file format. Those raw file formats, well, they're more easy to edit later, but they will take up more space on your SD or your SDHC memory card that can be inserted here. Now, the HS10 can record video at full HD resolution, that's 1080p, which is a great feature, but there isn't a 3.5 millimeter socket so that you can plug in a decent microphone. As you can see, one of the settings on the dial here is the panorama mode. Now what that allows you to do is take a series of shots, you just hold down the button, sweep the camera along like that, and then the camera will stitch those together seamlessly to make a single 23 megapixel shot. It's not gonna look great on the three inch screen here, but on an HD TV or on your computer monitor, it looks pretty good. Now one usability issue that I've come across is when you come to deleting files. If you go into the playback mode, you press, or well, you can scroll through your images, and when you find the one you want to delete, hit the delete button, and then select OK. And you get this 1980s arcade graphics appear on the screen. Uh, but that's not the issue. The issue is that when you go back into viewing all your photos, it takes you back to the very first one. So if you wanted to go back to yesterday's photos or last week's photos and delete a series of them, well, you're gonna have to do that each time rather than the camera remembering where you are. So that's the Fujifilm FinePix HS10. It's about 400 pounds. It's available from Amazon and from Jessup's, and we'll be testing it fully in our lab soon. Now, if you want more information on lots of other digital cameras, go to our website at which.co.uk. Now this is the Fujifilm FinePix HS10. It's a 10 megapixel bridge camera, although it might look a little bit like a DSLR. Now, of course, it doesn't have a sensor the size of the sensors that you'd find on a digital SLR, and it has a fixed lens. But Fujifilm says that this lens is gonna be so good that you won't want to change it.